Alright, I'm back with my guns only playthrough of Bannerlord, and uh, as you can see, it didn't exactly go well last time. We found ourselves in a bit of a situation here. It's only a minor inconvenience though, I'm sure we'll be fine. It says as we're being dragged away from our homeland. <laughs> oh man, I, I ain't paying to be free. Ah oh, man, we've been thrown in the dungeon. If only they left us like a harmonica or something so we could play some sick tunes while rotting away. <laughs> oh man, after like six days we've finally broken free. Now we gotta make a mad dash for it back to the Batanian border. To be honest with you, I don't think we're gonna make it. There's enemies everywhere. And why are we going around as if we're just going for a little stroll? What is this? Oh, God. Buddy, I don't have the time for this, alright? You done now, lads? Can we call it a day now? No? Can we call it... Is this guy not retreating? Alright. Catch a grenade! Uh, wait, kind of missed. A little awkward. There we go. Okay, we've managed to make it back to safety and we have managed to assemble the army once more. And again, they're all recruits. The recruits held their ground last time though. I will give them that. But what I have learned from uh, the previous thing is, screw the war. I don't care about the war anymore. I ain't fighting for battalions no more. I'm in it for myself. It's all about the profit. So, just gonna loot some poor farmers or something, you know? He, he says as there's now a lord with 120 men uh, watching him. Okay, we're not gonna loot the farmers. We're, uh, we're just gonna run away. I don't know what to do no more. I just don't know anymore, lads. Do I just run away and become a farmer? A farmer life sounds a bit nice, you know, with everything going on. I guess we'll just kill some sea raiders. Actually, the lads can do... Oh man, four dead lads. Four dead lads. I'm going to attempt to raid the Flax village. Is Flax worth a lot? I don't think so. I think it's like the price of grain in some places. I'm pretty much only doing this. Not for the Flax. Not for the money. Just because I think these are probably the only enemies we can take in a fight. <laughs> Alright. Shoot the locals, lads. That's it, man. Gun away. Should we feel bad for shooting the locals? I mean... Hmm... I don't know. War is... What are you doing? Get back in line! I would tell him to get back in line, but... Oh, shit. What the fuck? What? What's going on? They got wizards, man. They're knocking us flying. We've got some kind of voodoo magic over there. Either that or my men have a tin sheet tucked under their vest that's like... Oh god! They're taking us down one by one! Oh god! Lads, the bushes are firing back. I can't see them. Oh god. <laughs> I just sat there and watched all that. Now we attempt to raid, but um... Probably going to have to run for my life any second now. As soon as someone turns the corner by there, I'm going to have to leg it. We, we did it, lads. We shot up our first village and lived to tell the tale. Doesn't sound right, does it? We shot up our first village. <laughs> and what do we have to show for it? Where is it, lads? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. 
Your boy's got 42 flax. All oh, rumors that we can sell it for 16 a piece. Bargain. <laughs> oh, man. Is this what it's come to? We're just stealing flax from farmers. Mind you, these, these villagers have been eyeing me up. Aye, that's what I thought, mate. Run away. I'm gonna sell me flax. I was lied to, boys. It only sells for 10. Who told me 16? They said 16. Oh, god damn it. We're being robbed of our flax. Oh, I don't care no more. I've had enough. Oh my god, there's a blunderbuss in this store. That's what we need as well. We need a gun that we can actually use as a one-handed weapon as well. If we were to get rid of our bombs, get rid of our sword, buy the blunderbuss, buy the cannon ammo, because I think that's what it uses, and then also swap out our musket for, say, a Britannian one. Because then that way we can swing it as a blunt weapon and that replaces our sword. It cost us eight grand. You know what? I'll take it. Now we gotta find a looter to blow his brains out. Yeah, looter, looter, looter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, ho, ho. Here we go, come on. We're gaining on him. We're gaining on him. Come on. Alright, we got them. We're going in. The lads. Right, you can line up there. Oh no, it uses it uses the the cannon ammo and the rifle ammo. Oh. Probably didn't need to buy the cannon ammo. They've stacked. Fair enough. Right. Let's fire a blunderbuss from here. What happens? Oh. Ho, 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 ho. All right. Time to round up my looter friends. Come on, lads. Get into a nice little circle. Come on. Hit him up. Hit him up. Come on. Like herding sheep. There we go. Oh. Ah, that was a bit of a disappointment, lads. Not gonna lie. But we'll try that again now. Oh. Okay, it's kind of cool. But if it's only gonna kill one each time, I don't know of its value to me. Uh, I don't know if it's actually that good, because the reload speed is terrible. Trying to shoot the floor. Maybe the explosion will... No? Uh, what is the point to this? This isn't cool. Alright. Plan B. Side swiping with the musket. Oosh. Oh, no, I missed. Alright. Okay, plan B. Bang. <laughs> Alright. We run around. We run around and we get him again. Okay, we run round and we get him again. There we go. Hold up. Can't reload the musket on the horse. These purchases have been terrible. I didn't read a thing and... Oh, man. It's fine, because I'm about to blow up this guy. Nice. Hit him in the head. Right, so gun test was a disappointment. There's no denying it, lads. That that was disappointing. Well, we'll keep the blunderbuss because mainly because I'm gonna have to get my money's worth. I'm gonna somehow I'm gonna have to somehow get like eight K's worth out of that blunderbuss, you know. That's gonna be fun. I know I said I wasn't going to join in on this war. But I kind of want to siege a castle. 
I want to see what it's like when you attempt to siege a castle guns blazing. Imagine defending a castle with all rifles. Oh man, there's just smoke everywhere. Can't see a thing. We got one though. How did I miss that? Pulling out the cannon. Fire! See, it's intimidating, but in reality, it's it's just not good. <laughs> and actually reload it and just shoot it at the front gate and see how it does. Oh god. I'm shooting the cannon at the front gate. 22. That's like normal barrier damage, right? Oh shit. You alright, buddy? So, sh playing with guns only is just as I imagined. Everyone just gets gunned down. Oh god. It's fine. This barrier is on the verge of breaking, but it should hold. We gotta get that ballista out the fight. There we go. Oh, siege tower is here, lads. So before we've even breached, majority of the enemy are dead because it's it's literally just an all-out gun war. I mean, majority of people have been shot. Take a look at the casualties. There's only 30 enemies remaining. Is there even anyone on the other side of this siege tower? There is. Oh shit. Ah! Start smacking them with the gun, lads. Alright. Is there anyone in here? You. Well, he's dead. There's someone up here, isn't there? Alright. Fight in the night with a gun. Smack him. Is he off? Get back here. Well, the siege went pretty much as I expected. Majority of people just shot each other until... Until you were dead. There was... Very much no need to breach. We're attacking the keep. I've never attacked the keep. I'm usually dead before we get to this stage. Okay. I'm just missing everything here, lads. Stay with me while I reload this thing. Who are you? Shit, someone shot me of all people? Who shot me? It was one of yours. Well, we're pretty much on the verge of losing this war. But, there's another village out of the way of everyone. Maybe we can take advantage of this one. Oh man. 46 poor farmers we're gonna have to kill for this. Alright lads, hold your fire for now. Just wait. We need to watch out. We don't know if they got any wizards this time. Right, you know what? Gun them down, boys. Gun them down. Oh shit, they got wizards. This isn't good. We haven't gunned any of them down. We gunned like two. I, I can't see anything, man. It's the wizards again. Got wizards back there. So I think it turns out one of the bullets you can actually buy, I think, is knockdown ammo. So obviously that's what's hitting us. It, it knocks you down. I mean, I guess it gives it away in the name. Or I'm still convinced they're wizards. What am I doing? Hiding behind a porter party or something? Hiding behind the shit shack. Die! 
There we go. Are we done now? I think we're done. Did lose three men. But the renown from killing villagers is pretty good. Oh man. Villagers have shown up. Lads, I don't know how to say this, but your, your families are probably dead. Um, I'm sorry. Poor villagers probably just strolled out to, you know, sell their, sell a bit of wheat. Make a living, you know. Get whatever money you can. Come back. Some dude called Gunslinger Gary has mowed down your entire village. I am sorry. And that's another village raided. I say, I say I'm sorry to the villagers, but if I could catch them, I'd probably end up shooting them as well. So am I really sorry? <laughs> oh, no, I think they've done us. I think they've made it back to their village, haven't they? Hold up, they're not going back to the village. What is going on here? Oh. Oh. Kind of feel a little bad now after chasing them all that time. I'm sorry, lads. War is war and I need the renown. <laughs> Right, by calculating the wind, lads, and uh, the force of gravity, the weight of the bullet, the power of the projectile, that should kill a farmer. That was actually a bit closer than I thought it would. <laughs> Alright, turns out I didn't calculate the, uh, the, the radius of the barrel. And now that I've taken that into account. Shit. So, so it turns out I didn't take into account the um what day it was. Everyone knows on a certain day you've got to change the way you shoot. Oh god god, I give up. I give up, lads, alright? I just I just can't aim. <laughs> There we go. I only had to wait until he was within 40 meters. Well, we're about to lose the war, lads. As soon as that hits 100, it is game over. I'm pretty sure we force surrender. I think that's how the diplomacy mod works. Oh, we've hit 100. Nothing's happened yet. Oh, there we go. Maybe they were just still working on the terms of the surrender, I guess. Well, since the war is over, we're going to have to find other ways to get... Uh, to make a living, you know? We're going to have to just farm the bandits again. The only thing we can do... Well, we found ourselves a nice little batch of looters, eh? A bit more casual from the Federation that we've been fighting recently. But, uh... Yeah, we'll wait until they get a bit closer. We outnumber them two to one. So I'm expecting a good few dead looters once I tell the lads to fire. And, uh... Are you ready, lads? Fire away! Okay, they're too spaced together, I believe. The back line isn't properly firing. Bit, bit, of a, bit of a fail on my part there. Well, there's not much for us to do until another war breaks out. Because the only thing we need right now is renown. That That is our only purpose. We need that renown so we can increase the men. Um, and without that renown, there's there's not a lot we can do. And the best way to get renown is fighting armies in a war. Um, these looters are only going to give me two apiece. We need 48. God, man, you gotta love the renown grind, haven't you, eh? You gotta love the renown grind. We live for the grind. Hang on a minute. <laughs> for 17 bandits? 
Damn, he didn't back down. Fair play. 700 v 17 and he didn't back down. I respect the lad. But yeah, we just gotta wait for a war to break out. We've managed to siege a castle, which was kinda cool. We just gotta defend one now. We gotta see what it's like on the other side, where you're tucked up on that wall, gunning for your life. It's a bit different, you know, when you siege a castle, when you outnumber them, like, four to one. So we need to see what it's like when you defend a castle outnumbered four to one. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for today. We uh, we just got to wait for a war to break out. Um, I feel like a parrot right now because I feel like I've said that about five times already. <laughs> but yeah, just got to wait for a war to break. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this part. As always, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.